Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III! Alright, since last time I healed everyone up to the max before talking to this guy. Now, if you're playing the DS version, absolutely make sure that your thief is at least skill level, I believe, 72 or greater, because you want to steal an item from this guy. And it is essential that you steal that item. Well, it is us, the Light Warriors! For boss time against Odin himself! Now, Odin has a pretty nasty ability, I believe called Atom Edge, which hits everyone. Let's go ahead and jump on Ark. Yeah, it hits everybody for like 400 damage. It's ridiculous! But yeah, you absolutely, in the DS version, you want to steal from him. And I believe you can steal a Gun Gear, which is a... Well, a spear. And it is the best spear in the game. Let's go ahead and get haste on Luna here. Yeah, and he only has 7,000 HP. Yeah, watch how much damage Ark does to him. Holy cow, look at that attack. 1,300. Okay, yeah, that's not good. Um, Yeah, just to play it safe, let's go ahead and... Use a high potion on Lunip, hopefully he doesn't hit him again. And we'll get haste going on Refia. Jesus Christ, usually he doesn't do that. Look at that damage, 1300 to him. And Lunip doing near 1400. Okay, he should go down right here as long as he doesn't get Adam Edge in before. Yeah, we're gonna have to just go all out here, use Cure 4 on Refia. And, of course, he uses Adam Edge. Damn it. Oh, well. Come on, take him out. Oh. He, uh... Okay, well, we're gonna have to hopefully heal... Refi up. Let's go ahead and use a Phoenix down instead of the Life Spell. No, don't kill him yet. No! I wanted Refi to get the experience. Damn it. Oh well, but that's what you do. That's how you defeat Odin. Well, yeah, I mean, we just kicked your ass. And right here we get to summon Odin. That I'll never be using. Okay, um, yeah, let's just, for right now, let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, we can't uh, teach to Repia. Let's just go ahead and teach to Lunith. Don't worry about it, though. Where's the Phoenix down? There we go. Okay. Now, let's get the hell out of here. And, actually, you know what? Instead of, uh... Yeah, I can do this right now. Instead of actually healing up, even though it's, uh... Pretty annoying not having my guys at full HP. We want to go right here. And head in here. To Un's Shrine. What the hell? What's this bird? Yeah, it is. It might be able to awaken Oon. I love this tune here that they got playing. Let's go ahead and use the loot. Yeah, wasn't it Dorka who said to use the loot on Oon? And maybe it would bring her out of the dream world. What are you doing in bed there? And holy cow, is that an energetic parrot. Look at him, he's freaking out. And somehow she becomes a wizard. Sir, I thought Oon was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little uh, cutscene here. Pretty cool. Oon of the Dream World. Oh, let's uh, go ahead and talk to Oon. Well, yeah. We gotta get the great ship. It can cross mountains. It must be in the ancient ruins to the north. Well, sure. Yeah, let's uh, head on out. 
<laughs> okay, and Un joined the party. Yeah, Un has some uh, pretty interesting stuff to talk about. Let's go ahead and speak to her in a second. Two fangs you have in the one... Oh, it can destroy the statues. And we get the third fire fang. Well, the third of the four fangs. We still need the earth fang. Okay, we have the water... What is it? The wind, isn't it? Water, fire... Yeah, wind. Okay. Yeah, we still need the earth one. But let's go ahead and talk to Un here. Oh, yeah, she just straight up tells us that we can obtain the Earth Fang. And we gotta head to the Ancient Ruins. Great Ship's name is Invincible. It was built by the Ancients. Huh. Okay, now we're pretty much done here. Well, we are done there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna rest up back at Salonia before we move on to the Ancient Ruins. So I'll take care of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I sold everything off all my excess gear off screen. Also, I went to a nearby Chocobo forest and I withdrew the other wind spear for our arc. We do not want HP absorbing gear uh, in the next area, in the ancient ruins. Also for Refia, I got rid of her Oriole Con knife for back on the boomerang. So yeah, you can go ahead and put Refia into the back row, but I don't think that's necessary. We're doing fine on defense. Where do we want to go here? Um... Yeah, we want to go right here. And we made it. Come on, no random battle. Okay, and here it is, the Ancient Ruins. This place is hard. They have a ton of splitting enemies uh, deeper into the dungeon. But here's a new enemy, a Pyralis. A Pyralis, what the hell is that? Kind of fire-breathing breathing dragon. But yeah, the reason we don't want... HP absorbing gear is because, well, some enemies are undead here, and that would do the complete opposite. It would actually drain your own HP from you. So yeah, you don't want that. Easy enough, though. Yeah, and you actually need Un for this next part. Oh, there's some scholars here. Cave was filled with adamantite, so they can't proceed ahead. Cave walls collapse in the earthquake. Okay, well here's not a new enemy. Remember we fought him? Well, it was in the Salonia Catacombs. Yeah, this is the guy that why you do not want HP absorbing gear on. God, I love the. Why did I not have Refia on the boomerang before? I'm, I do like the boomerang a lot better than the HP absorbing gear. For one, the attack animation is awesome. But okay, yeah, we needed Un in order to get past this Adam Adamantite. Sorry about that. Well, what are you doing? How are you just getting rid of those rocks? Oh, all right then. Thanks a lot. And we want to head in here first. And what do we get here? We get a reflect mail that we do not need anymore. Yeah, we don't need that reflect mail anymore because, well, we already got a couple. And, yeah, before actually heading down those stairs, let's go ahead and head up here and talk to these scholars. Well, yeah, it's probably the Invincible. What the hell is Un doing in the text box? <laughs> I just noticed that. I have a feeling something extraordinary lies in these ruins. Okay, now this one is the inn, the weapon shop right here. And the armor shop. Let's go ahead and check out the armor shop. There's really nothing I want to buy. But yeah, they sell diamond gear, but look at that price. Totally not worth it. In fact, well, we already have the diamond gear, so... Hey, let's check out this weapon shop. Yeah, if you missed it earlier, you can actually pick up Defenders and the Blood Sword. But I already have one. 
but okay. Actually, no, nah, yeah, I'm not gonna rest up at the end. Come on. Is it this room? Yes, it is. Now, this room has a ton of doors with a lot of treasure here. Uh, yeah, we want to head down here first. Yeah, some very good treasure, some not so much, like this one. We get another black belt, but, well, I already, de I believe I deposited the other one in the, uh, fat chocobo. But what awaits us in the ancient ruins? Find out next time, and let's play Final Fantasy III! This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!